Hello. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to it for the first time. My name is Lilia, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a single-ended dread installation. Um, the easy way on shorter hair. Um, it should be informational. It's not too hard to do, but I just figured I'm doing it, so I might as well make a video and share it with other people. Maybe it could be helpful. First thing you'll need is rubber bands. I got these at Sally. You need a crochet hook. Um, I got it at Seven Mile. You'll need the dreadlock. This I made from hair and uh, not hair from Kinkalon that I got at seven mile. You'll need a comb to part the hair and clips to section the hair. I already have our lady sectioned out for now. Um, other than that, I just need to change the view and yeah, we'll get started. Hold up. All right, we will be sectioning her hair into a more manageable piece. About an inch, give or take, depending on the person's hair growth. And where you're coming to in the shape of the head. getting right in the way, but okay. Now you got portion of hair down to the hair. We're going to start by taking out a little section. Manageable section. About an inch square for her density and how big I want the sections to be. Clip that out of the way. take your dread and your latch hook, put your latch hook through the dread, pull the hair with the latch hook through the hole of the dread, and it goes on like that. Now you're going to take the hair that you have in two equal sections. You're going to do a braid where the dread is the third section of your hair. You want to get it up as tight to the scalp as you can. And just braid it on down. If you have longer hair you're working with, you could do the blanket stitch braid. Um, I'm not going to do that today because I haven't fully mastered it yet. But it, it shortens the braid because of the way the variation goes. So that's another option. Maybe at another time I can... elaborate and do a video on that. Now we're getting to the point where I can no longer braid the hair. So 
So I'm going to take a rubber band. And attach it where the braid stops. Sometimes you're going to have extra hair. All you have to do is take another elastic a little further down to secure that. Also, if you had like little edges poking out, you could do the same thing. And that is how you do it. We will do another one just to show you. Again, that might be a little big of a section of hair, but you can always see. Not hard to do, it's just tedious and time consuming. So if you're gonna do a whole head, you definitely are gonna want some good music or something to jam to. Um, yeah, be prepared to spend a few hours for sure. All right, we got that one on. That's the trickiest part. Divide that in two. And braid down. See? Easy peasy. Except for to find a way to face the camera better. There we go. <laughs> it's a learning process. Now it's getting hard to braid. So I take a elastic. And you're done. You get the point, but I think maybe we can do one more. A little smaller section this time. And normally you would want your color of your dread to match the color of your hair. This actually doesn't look too bad considering it's red and brown on purple, but um, yeah, ideally, these were the dreads I had in my hair. My hair is purple, so it blended down where my braids were coming. So, I just thought I'd put them into her head and see what it would be like and get a little practice in and make a video. <laughs> Down went smooth. Maybe we can go like that. Divide it in two. Hoping you can see this all right. Maybe won't we'll zoom in. Hard 
the corner. It's getting hard to braid. And I'll just do an extra one on there for housekeeping. We'll do this one, one more, and zoom, so you can see. That looks like a good touch time. Not necessarily a square as much as a little portion. It's a little skinnier than an inch, but as wide as an inch. It's just the amount of hair. of dread here. Oh, they all went crashing down. I'm taking You can see that they are in there. They're not coming out. They're pretty darn close up to the scalp there. All you gotta do is kind of pull apart. Just kind of pull apart the strand when you're first starting the braid and it'll usher up the dreadlock to the scalp and you can start braiding from there so you don't have a gap at the top which is going to make for kind of shitty looking dreads um yeah eventually you'll get a gap because your hair grows and that's why they don't last forever but you know such is the nature of having full dreadlocks um I had mine in for about a month and that was good for me. I liked it, but it got a little itchy. And um, my boyfriend really didn't like it. That wasn't my decision to take them out. They just had, you know, it was the end of their lifespan for me. <laughs> we'll just say that. Um, I hope that you have a good evening or a good day. For me, it's evening. Uh, other than that, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I have other videos, maybe uh, de installation. De installation, is that even a word? <laughs> uh, removal of Sense Logic Dreadlocks video will probably be coming up in the near future and maybe a blanket stitch, we'll see. Other than that, all I have to say is love and light. Take it easy.